as a former engineer, I mean, one of the key things to me that you and others have done in this space that I really value a lot is how are you able to make it something that is, will be one day affordable for the mainstream consumer, will be affordable for someone like, you know, General Joe will be able to go up there if they want. What led you uh, to, to drive, to make that belief a reality? Because you're putting your money and, and, and your investment and your time there. What led you to believe that? Um, again, I didn't really go into it thinking, uh, you know, um, by investing a dollar in space travel, I might get Isn't that a return? two dollars back. Yeah. Um, I went into it because um, as, as a young man, I saw the moon landing um, on a black and white television set. Um, and I was absolutely sure that one day I'd go to space. Um, I was absolutely sure that my children would one day go to space. Um, but I, after decades went by, I realized that governments were just not interested in uh, you or me or people in this audience going to space. Um, so in 1991, I thought, screw that, let's, um, let's form a company. Uh, I called it Virgin Galactic Airways. I, I also registered Virgin Intergalactic Airways because I'm quite an optimist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and, um, <laughs> they, and um, we, I, went, I started traveling around the world looking for some genius engineers. You know, we were talking before. To, uh, who could actually build, build, space, build us a spaceship um, and build us a mothership and, uh, and build rockets to take satellites to space. And, you know, I mean, you work to the space agency, you know how exciting these things can be.